good morning, I'm Azifa Sudin. You're watching Money Headlines and it's the 6th of August. So kicking off today's news, we have a very sensationalist headline coming from Malay Mail on the Selangor MB crisis. 48 hours, time bomb ticking, snap polls looming. So yesterday, Khalil Ibrahim was slapped with a show cause letter from PKR um, telling him on various different reasons why he should step down as MB, why he wasn't good enough. Khalil is in a very precarious situation where nobody wants him and people want to prop up one as the coming MB. Now, there are three different scenarios given for him, uh, which is something outlined in the front page of Malay Mail. First, of course, is where he steps down and calls uh, for snap polls. Second is where he doesn't step down, but PKR goes to the Sultan and uh, snap polls happen anyway. And the third one is where he sends independent, gets the consent of the Sultan to still run as Menteri Besar. Whatever the case is a hot mess for the Pakatan coalition right now. Uh, and given that he, has, he only has till Friday to respond, I think it'll be very interesting and also disturbing to see what will happen in these next few days and what the results will come up from this. Which is of course very nicely highlighted uh, by the Star's front page. Peace plan fails. Now I would think that this was an Israel Gaza uh, headline at first glance, but apparently it's about Slango PKR polls where uh, Khalil Ibrahim, of course, uh, is now not given a chance to say his side of the story. Same story from the sun. And of course, Sina Haryan, uh, we have the headline talking about the same thing, crisis marun uh, marunching. But I want to bring you to a more interesting story which happened yesterday, uh, which of course is highlighted in the, uh, in the insides of all papers and has caught storm on social media yesterday. Tak tahu malu. Now, supposedly it's a group of Singaporeans who came up to Penang for a nice vacation and decided to have a new sports party and uploaded the video onto Vimeo, of course, very high quality. But of course, it was taken down a few hours afterwards. So I had a chance to view it before it was taken down. As expected, there's more men than women in the video. And believe me, you're not losing out on anything not watching it. I have no idea why I wasted 10 minutes of my time watching that thing, man. There's of course, Slim Gumning has come out to say that uh, he has nothing to do with it whatsoever. He does not know about it. But I think what's more disappointing for me that in Sina Haryan, if you look at the inside pages, they bring it up as a religious issue saying that it was done in front of the surround. I think it's very disappointing that some papers are actively looking out for a certain slant uh, to incite a certain sentiment, uh, even though it may not be there. But the thing is, because it happened in front of the surau, obviously, uh, this is inside the Muslims be unhappy about such an issue. On a more serious note, however, Utusan, uh, of course, brings up the Gaza issue. And of course, you have pictures here, but what's more interesting here is the headline saying, Boycott Israel's Makin Meluas. Utusan has acknowledged, at least to an extent, as most people have, that boycotts are pretty much one of the better ways to cut off trades with Israel where it hurts in their wallets. Given a year, Israel can make a loss of $5 billion through this boycott movement alone if everyone stands in solidarity. But of course, Utsan being Utsan takes on a more slanted stance. So inside here, you can see a report saying that Muslims around the world have to stand in solidarity. I don't think it's limited to Muslims only. The Palestine-Israel conflict is a human humanitarian issue. It's something which everyone should stand for. But of course, not reported in the news yesterday, McDonald's branch in Dungun Turunganu was shut down because uh, a lot of folks marched in front of it, protested in front of it. And I guess to them, it's a moral obligation to show solidarity, to show cause that this is not something you take lightly. And for most of us, boycotts may be the only way to do it. And to other news, we have News Search Times running on a supposed exclusive was MH17 finished off with a gun skill? So this is a theory which is not exactly new. It has been around uh, for the past few weeks. NSC has decided to pick it up now, calling it an exclusive. So Russia has given up information saying that uh, it wasn't a ground-to-air missile, but it was an air-to-air -air missile that MH17 was shot down by fighter jets, which are supposedly Ukrainian. Brita Haryan runs a smaller piece on a police force up in Ukraine uh, and investigations and the problems they're facing. And finally, Harry Metro all this out to entertain all of us. Nice little tower headlines here if you're interested in that sort of thing. And my word of the day today is breaking down. Is Pakatan Rakyat breaking down in the face of the Slango crisis? Is Khalid Ibrahim breaking down and breaking down facts of what's happening with MH17, the investigations? You know, there's a lot of breaking down to do. So that's all I have for you in this morning's headlines. I'm Asif Azudin for BFM 89.9.